Hey everyone, this is Hien. Thanks for watching the Hog Dispatch channel. Definitely had some fun uh, a couple nights ago hunting some hogs. I want to show you how we actually take down these hogs and what happens when you don't do a headshot. And eventually we did kill this one, but I thought I had the headshot going, but I guess I twerked and tweaked it a little bit and uh, didn't place the shot where I thought it landed and actually hit the body. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so we've uh, slowed this uh, clip about 10 times, so you can see. You can barely see the, the ears, but you kind of make it out through the brush. You're not going to get this perfect shot, but I saw enough so that I the ears, sent the round, at least left of the ear. <laughs> and there it is, it just dropped right on the spot. He had one hog right behind him. He, he's like, hey, what's, what's up with this guy? And he was checking him out, and he looked over, and I think if I racked another shot in there, I had maybe a, a second, maybe or less, to to send that one before the third one came through. And then he was just checking it out, and uh, and then eventually maybe moved off a little bit to the left. And I called my buddy to come check it out because I was going to have him take the last two two hogs. But uh, when he took a look at it, he saw some a tail wagging right there. Then he sent another one on, just to make sure, for good measure, to make sure he's good to go. So there it is, he's uh, sending that shot right now, and boop, and, uh, and you take some, there, there it is, there, that's that shot right there. <laughs> Alright, so then we kind of panned around, trying to look for it, and of course it's pretty thick brush, uh, you gotta get this clean shot, and and yeah, that's that's kind of the thrill of it. Uh, most time, we're getting better and better at this, uh, better ratios of uh, taking them down with the headshot from about maybe 50 to 60 yards away. Uh, we're going to scan around and plus you got all this fencing that we have to kind of shoot through uh, to make sure that uh, you know it doesn't nick our shot and divert it somewhere else which has happened in the past uh, and so yeah so we're looking around that's the feeder right there and it is they did th they did eventually come back on this one so i'll show you where we moved the rifle to the left side and we saw two of them uh, my buddy shot this one uh, and but he didn't really aim for the head and I think it nicked him on the back uh, and then they take off but but they usually run about a good hundred to hundred fifty yards and uh, we didn't want to bother well yeah, we thought they ran off but we thought he missed but at the time but it looks from the video that he might have hit it so Alright, so I want to talk about this one where we just got to be patient. Sometimes we see them uh, and you know, they're eating there and it could take a few minutes just to be able to get this shot. But uh, due to the power of video editing, you get to see the highlights of this. But this probably took about maybe a good, uh, I don't know, 5-10 minutes before we actually pull this trigger. And you can kind of see like, hey, you know, can you find a good shot? Uh, see if you can find a good shot here. And all you see is butts and uh, where's the head? I mean, there's a little one on the left, but uh, I think my lighting could have been better. Uh, this He wasn't familiar well with my gun and I wasn't really, so it was my bad for not adjusting it properly when he moved it to the left side. Uh, sun was setting, so the lighting was changing constantly, so it could be too bright to too dark. And uh, there it is. So, so now he's, you know, waiting for this perfect shot and it just can't really see much and you can't really see what the head is and uh, and it's just brush everywhere right so so yeah this is how, how it feels like I'm just not getting that clear picture alright so this is a shot where it's kind of quartered uh, in a little bit but there's a light shining on his back and it's kind of shadowy uh, so it's turning to the left so right now his butt's facing you and uh, eventually it does turn back to the right and then right where the shot launches, I paused it so I could zoom in to see where the shot was actually placed. And it's probably right above the shoulder a little bit, on the front right shoulder. And this is where the shot was launched. It was slightly quartered. I think it hit it uh, from what it looks like because you can see it react and it, it jumps up a little bit. Or well, maybe not. I don't know. It looks like. But it did startle a couple of pigs and they kind of took off a little bit uh, because it was just maybe a little too close to the other ones and it just kind of there's like a leathery slap uh, when it happens so with the power editing I'm able to kind of zoom in a little bit and kind of see exactly where it went and I will check that out with you guys so that's what happens uh, so usually when that happens uh, you have to chase after it and probably run to another person's property 
and most of the time we just can't find it. So we just kind of stopped. Right, now this one. one came from the the right of the feeder, looped back around, came and then went back to the left, and now it's crawling underneath the fencing to get to the feeder. Uh, it kind of just passes through without really look eating much, and I, I don't know if it, if it noticed something or if we were there or not. But this one was a little harder because, of course, when it paused, it was behind brush. And I couldn't really get a good side shot. That would have been nice, but it's just right behind brushes too. And of course, it's constantly moving. This is where a tripod would really help to kind of wait for it to pause and then send the shot down. And I'll go ahead and pause it right when the, the shot launches. And then we're going to reanalyze this again. Yeah, if you notice, after uh, I sent my shot, there's a loud boom in the background. That's my friend uh, Drew on his stand. Uh, and you see that I, I hit the uh, this basically kind of a nice court, you know, like the vital organ area, and it does run off. Now we ha I have my friend Javier with sitting next to me, and he had a thermal to watch him. And he ran about 100, 150 yards before he killed over and started kicking. Uh, basically, it double nicked his lung uh, left and right. Eventually, he ran out of breath and drowned in his own blood, uh, and then eventually died. All right, so, so I want to get a zoomed in version of and a slow motion of what I thought I hit. This is where I put the crosshairs. It's taken a step, and then when I thought I launched it, uh, yeah, it did go where I thought it would go. And you see that it moved uh, from the point of impact on what I thought it would launch. And it could be, you know, probably I twerked it, it was moving, and it was just, a, I guess, a difficult shot to try to hit the head. Uh, I did ha thought I aimed it right on the head when I launched it, but between the time difference between seeing the head, pulling the trigger, launching the thing while it's moving, uh, I eventually just hit the body uh, instead. But I guess it was, it was a good thing. I thought it was my zero that was off, it was just me. And it did eventually die. Uh, my friend was able to track it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you had enjoyed this video. And as we analyze more ha ha you know, hog hunting shots with the air gun, to be able to take them down uh, quietly and hopefully take more hogs in one night.